Hey guys, welcome back to Freak Motion. In today's video, we are going to make this kind of spooky title animation without using any third party plugins. It's a very simple effect, looks very good and very very easy to create. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into the after effects and let's get started. Alright, I already created a composition with basic settings. Also you can see, I have already imported some assets for this project. And project file link will be in the description. So first of all, type any text you like. I'm using dr.zimbos font or you can call it Dr. Zimbos. Adjust the size and the position. Now select the text layer and apply turbulent displace effect. By the way, this is FX console plugin from Video Go Pilot and it's completely free. Keep the amount value 50 and change the size value to 300. Hold Alt plus click on the stopwatch icon to add an expression and type time multiplier 50 so that it keeps moving over the time. Now for the color, you can add gradient ramp effect on the text layer. Place the pointers like this and change the color of your choices. I'm using red color tone here. So let's talk about our today's sponsor AEJUS. They have made almost all kind of bundles which can be used for our daily projects. From glitch animation to cinematic titles and from all kind of liquid elements to all kind of liquid transitions. And the good news is you can get all of the bundles for the lifetime with 98% off on this Black Friday sale. So what are you waiting for? Click on the first link in the description to get the maximum discount. Now select the layer and pre-compose it. Give it a name you like. Let's create another composition and let's call it text mat. Here create a new solid layer, name it fractal. And apply fractal noise effect on it. Change the contrast value to 300. And change the brightness value to minus 130. And add a keyframe on the brightness. Then go forward to 2 seconds and change its value to minus 100. Then go forward to 2 more seconds and change its value to 192. That means from black to white. Select the layer and press Ctrl plus D to make a copy of the text layer. I have a wall texture image that I am going to place in between these two layers. And for the bottom layer, change the track mat to luma mat. Now go back to main comp and bring the track mat composition here and place it on the top. Also change the track mat of the text layer to luma mat. Now we can see that cool text reveal animation here. On the text composition, apply liquify effect. Open the wrap tool option and change the brush size to near about 30. Make sure you select the first option, then at the end of the text reveal, add a keyframe on the distortion map. Then go forward to few seconds and just drag the edges of the text. But make sure to change the brush pressure value to 100. Adjust the brush size according to your text. Take your time to adjust the brush effect. Just like this. After that, you can see the dripping effect from the text. You can add blood dripping footage for the extra detailing. And at the last frame, increase the flow a little bit. So that it keeps dripping till the end of the timeline. On this text layer, right click Go to layer style and add bevel and emboss. Also add inner shadow. Open inner shadow option and increase the noise amount a little bit. For that green kind of texture. Adjust the distance. And change the color to a darker tone of the red color. Perfect, this looks good to me. 
and at last add glow effect on the text composition first change the threshold value to 0 on 3 seconds add a keyframe on the glow radius then go forward to end of the timeline and increase its value a little bit and our text animation is done alright our title is almost ready now just add all the assets one by one and change the blending mode to screen apply tint effect to change the color tone change the white color to your composition color bring all the assets similarly also change the color tone and change the blending mode to screen finally add the spider wave and adjust the scale a little bit apply gaussian blur effect on it so that it blends with the background and at the end drag all the layers to the front so the animation starts little bit quicker adjust the sizes of the footages if needed and also you can apply zoom out effect on the text reveal animation just by using simple scaling properties After all, it should look like this. So this is all for today. I hope you like the video. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one. Till then have fun and stay safe.